Howdy folks, it's Barry here from My Virgin Kitchen, back with Stuart Ashen. How's it going? Not so bad, thank you. We're not in uh, my house today, are we? No, we're in the YouTube space, which is where I've just found, inexplicably, this... What? Soviet Russian, jacket? Yes, yeah, Soviet general, Soviet officer's jacket. It's full of fancy dress, so I've got myself a good old builder's hard hat. Uh, you enjoyed our Thailand treat tasting video that we did, right? So mm, much. Uh, they poisoned at all. No, it was pretty good. And a lot of you guys were saying it's good to see uh, Stuart's face, and they actually enjoyed some food. So, <laughs> so we're back to taste some more uh, British treats. So if you're British, hopefully some nostalgic stuff here. And mm. if you're from around the world, we're going to hopefully educate you with some real classics. It is impossible to slouch. Where <laughs> it's quite Maybe because it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so first up are something called salt and shake crisps. Um, did, did you have a time machine to get this? I swear they stopped making them 10 years ago. Yeah, they're pretty old school crisps. And um, are made by Walkers, which is also known as Lay's kind of, I guess, internationally. Yeah. Um, and the emphasis really with it is that you have a blue salt packet inside, right? Yeah. Shake away. Because basically you don't trust the crisp company to put some <laughs> salt on, so you have yeah. to do it yourself. It's like um, self-catering, self-seasoning. Oh my gosh, I don't think this is actually... Is there a blue packet in there? There's normally a little blue sachet in there. Yeah, that's, ah, here we go. Yeah, yeah we're all right. So you've got unsalted crisps and a packet of salt. Basically what this means is all the crisps at the top get super salty and the ones at the bottom get nothing at all. <laughs> Listen, so I don't know why they stopped doing this on literally just the salt. They should have pushed it out to like a pre -cook. In fact, you could do that yourself with any seasoning you've got at home. Plain crisp, buy it, season it, shake Oh my gosh. What have we done, Barry? That is a business idea right there. We have we've destroyed the entire crisp industry. <laughs> Amazing. So in goes our salty shaky thing. It's <laughs> just like a salt process. Ah! It's got like candy. It's all stuck in it. It's got a damp or something, look. Oh no. It might have been my uh, condensation that's travelling. Here we go. Yeah. You do like a shake. Like this. Optional dance move if you want. Yeah. Here we go. I'm have this one. There was no salt on that. <laughs> this was stuck to the inside of the packet. There was not a single molecule of salt. Hmm. So perhaps uh, this is why this is more of a nostalgic crisp and that people just sort of season them in the factories generally now these brands. So uh, not a bad start, salt and shake. Do you think these only sell because people who don't want salt on them just want totally plain crisps? That's the only way to get them. Yeah, they just blend in. They're like, oh yeah, I like salt, of course I do. And they're like, hmm. Yeah. I'm like a Gandhi thing at the beach, sort of going there and protesting to make salt out of the seawater and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe they dip them in the sea. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it works. Gandhi crisps. And now, hog lumps. Hog lumps. Nice. Nice. Pork scratchings. Pork scratching stuff. With lovely Mr. Porky, who has the vacant <laughs> stare of a serial killer. Yeah, that's quite an intimidating stare right there. He's like, I've got a butcher's knife, I'm not afraid to use it. Eat these, would I? So pork scratchings to me remind me of my old tennis club. There was, uh, oh, I'm not a vegetarian, but I felt strongly about this. We had some pigs in the field nearby where we played tennis. And at the end, of, well, once we played tennis, people would hit the balls over the fence and sometimes they would hit a pig. And I found that quite bad. But um, those pigs actually got turned into pork scratchings. So um, I sort oh. of felt it's like the circle of life, the circle of pork scratchings. I thought you were going to say you used the tennis racket to flay pigs. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like that game, was it? Um, was it pass the pigs? Yeah. Hit the pigs. There we are. Hit the pigs. Somebody once bet me five pounds that I wouldn't eat pork scratching. Really? Do you not like pork scratchings? I like pork scratchings. It's the easiest bet in the world. Amazing. For Sometimes some you get the hair on them and stuff oh, like that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I reckon there's going to be at least one hairy one. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. You're going to go for it? Let's find out. You get different types. You get like the crispy ones or the jelly ones. Um, I don't like the jelly ones. It's a little bit like, I like them when they're crispy and firm and a little bit of snout hair on them. I like <laughs> Snout hair. <laughs> 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 snout. There is no snout there is a big red thing. Only recommended for people with strong, healthy teeth. Nice. Although every care has been taken to remove bones, some may remain. You can eat every part of a pig, can't you? Apparently so. Yeah. Wow. That could be a future video. Pig. I want to eat a pig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a whole pig. <laughs> In my mouth. Here we are. Right. That one that looks like a tail. Nice. Yeah, it does. It does look. That could actually be the pig's tail. Oh, it's, it's a super fatty one there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That is just basically a lump of jelly <laughs> fat. <laughs> I'm going for the rindy bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can hear the crunch. This is probably the least healthy snack in the world. Yeah, they simply are just very, very salty indeed, extremely crunchy, and as I say, if you're lucky, you might get some snout hair on them. I can't find a hair on one as no? yet. Mm. Sometimes they give them a nice little shake before turning them into. <laughs> it's like a Gillette advert. They get the old. The <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not saying porkies. So next up are some Watsits, okay? Uh, so these are like essentially crease, cr 
queasy. <laughs> they do make you feel queasy if you don't like cheese, uh, like me. Not a massive fan of these, um, but I remember my friend uh, used to play like the Sega Mega Drive years ago, and they'd be eating the crisps and they'd pass the control over. Do you ever get that? You have crisps all over the controller? Yeah, all the dust. That's known as Cheeto dust in America. <laughs> <laughs> What's it dust? What's in it dust? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So these are just really cheesy, puffy crisps, right? Do you like these? I do, I'm quite yeah. like I've not had them for years. This these things aren't as big as they used to be. No, they're not. Didn't they used to be more puffy? And I think they used to be neon orange as well. They did. Yeah. So I think it's Yes, yeah, that's where the nostalgia has gone. They are completely different yeah. to how I remember them. Mm. Completely different. There's less seasoning on it. They used to be bright neon orange, literally like some sort of 80s like hula dress or something like yeah, that. Like those fluorescent socks from oh, the 80s. Yes, power. <laughs> All about that. Uh, but they are more golden brown, so. And I can eat them. I'm not hating them, so. Mm. Not bad. No, watch it. I'm disappointed. Mm. They've taken the soul of my watch away. Yeah. So all of our savoury is out of the way. It's time for some good old uh, confectioning on the sweetie style. Um, wagon wheel. Wagon wheel. The classic mallow stroke biscuit stroke chocolate. And I don't think any of it is real. It's all just <laughs> chemically reconstructed. And yeah. they're not as big as they used to be. That's like one of those big controversies. Are oh, wagon wheels as big as they used to be? Did we just get bigger? Yeah. That's what people are doing, aren't they? They're just making things um, more expensive and smaller. Yeah. Crazy. I can promise you these got smaller because about 10 years ago, I found one down the middle of my dad's sofa that I used to film on. Oh, really? Film on to this day. It was actually crammed down there. Actually, it been probably 15 years ago now. Pulled it out, it was like an ancient wagon wheel from the 80s, still in its wrapper, and indeed was noticeably bigger. Well, why do I get the feeling you've done a video on that and you've eaten it? No? Unfortunately, no, I threw it away before oh, YouTube even existed. It could have been perfect, the ancient wagon wheel. It's even perfect inside. I think that it's pretty low on perishable ingredients. <laughs> nice tear away marshmallow. Mm. It was so, so good. They taste exactly like I remember. Mm. Really crunchy biscuit. Like I say, quite soft when you bite into it, it's a real mm. nice bite to it. I'm probably going to do a video recipe of this one day. Mm -hmm. Right, so next up is something called Caramac. Um, that's apparently quite nostalgic. A lot of you guys have nominated and told us which ones you want to see. I have never had a Caramac. I used to think it was a soap for an old lady. You know, I'm just going to use my Caramac in the bath. Oh yeah, like a talcum powder maybe? <laughs> it sounds like that. Um, so this is the sort of thing my elderly aunt would go to a shop and get Caramac. Yeah. Or she'd mention it but never actually buy it. Mm. Okay, so Cara must have some sort of... Is it caramel, is it? Or? Yeah. Okay. And Mac, because it's made out of... <laughs> Old Apple computers. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> oh, the caramel, the caramel flavour bar. Caramel flavour bar with no mm. hint as to its constituents. So it could be white chocolate, possibly, with like a caramel flavour enhancer. It actually says caramel on it as well. Just in case you think you're eating something different. <laughs> yeah, what a surprise! <laughs> I'd go. I like caramel. It's quite sickly. You wouldn't want like a huge amount of it, but mm. you don't get that much, so that's not really a problem. Yeah, it does taste a lot like white chocolate. I'm thinking mm. it is like white chocolate ramped up with a little bit of caramel colouring and flavouring in there. I really like that. I'm uh, taking that back to the southwest of England with me. And I'm putting that in my pocket, not in my pants, by the way. <laughs> that would be lovely by the time you finish your train journey. <laughs> Next up the mighty sherbet stroke lolly combination of Dip Dad, but with a new twist. Yes, this is uh, the old ones used to be like red and yellow coloured. This is mm. a refreshers brand, which is another amazing sweet refresher. Raspberry flavour sherbet dip with a fruit flavour lolly. So mine, so I think mine has somehow got dampened to <laughs> into one huge lump. <laughs> when sherbet gets wet, it's going to just sort of like stick like that. But there's a woman on the front cover who's like bathing or bathing in like a bath of sherbet bubbles with like the lollies. She looks like some sort of crustacean. <laughs> she does, She's yeah. She's the yeah. Of sugar. <laughs> so yeah, so what you do, dunk mm. it. Mm. Mm. Definitely got a bit damp at some stage, but a lump of sherbet gives a size of an iceberg. <laughs> so like we're enacting Titanic, isn't it? <laughs> iceberg, right out of here, sherbet iceberg. My heart must go on. <laughs> Jack, come back. Take. Sorry. <clears throat> Jack, come back. No, that was exactly like Celine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like this lolly very much, and I don't like the sherbet as much, and I'm going mm. to moan. No, it's yeah. not quite. It's so like they're trying too hard by putting in too much extra flavour yeah. or something. We're not reaching those levels of nostalgia we wanted to hit with this, so we kind of let you down there, guys. But yeah. They're trying too hard, I think, with these. They're trying to sort of gourmet. The <laughs> That's it, it's yeah. not quite worth it. It's almost like you just serve yet, like tucked down with a knife and fork. Mm. <laughs> you did that, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Next up are a good old classic confectionery of Maltesers, still very popular here in the UK. Um, and what I like about them is you can do a little blowy thing, which we'll show you in a minute. Um, 
You like this? <laughs> Sounds wrong. Often. I was that sort of <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Then we've got a dispensing hole. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's that. like one of those old school games we've got to try and get the little teams in the hole. It will fall out, hopefully. Maybe this is for portion control. You get somebody who's like, <gasps> like oh, give up. Up. <laughs> Yeah, give it to me! And they just end up having fruit. They're like, <laughs> good. So, do you like these? I do. They are nice. It's decent chocolate and the honeycomb stuff inside is nice. I have to take my builder's half a minute. I'm worried about this. Yeah, it's like I would stand well back. Oh my god! Is it? Yeah. Hopefully that will pick that up. I'll try and zoom in and catch it up. But it's uh, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Now. Just... <laughs> yeah, you had the levitation. <laughs> I think you had it in your mouth. Got like rotten lips. Well, my girlfriend's favourite sweets are dark chocolate Maltesers, mm. but they only make them in Hong Kong. Dark chocolate Maltesers. That's amazing in Hong Kong. Yeah. Mm. And you literally can't get them anywhere else. Mm. If what? you get them imported from like eBay or something. Yeah, all completely melted. It's <laughs> <laughs> a big mass. raspberry or something like because they've been mm. sent over on a boat and took nine years or something. The great thing about these is they're sort of chocolate with honeycomb and it just melts in your mouth. They are so so good and extremely addictive. There's a window right there, and I think we might have to throw them out. Yeah, just so yeah, so we'll put on like fifty stone each. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> curly whirly, the most nostalgically weirdly shaped. Uh, thing. I can remember when these came out in the early 80s. Oh, yeah. They were all excited because they were a funny shape. And again, they were wider than this. Uh, they were noticeably wider. Yeah. There was more curly worthy girth, which is not a <laughs> phrase you'll hear in any other YouTube video. It's almost like a chocolate ladder. If you were Barbie and you wanted a ladder, you would use a curly whirly to escape. <laughs> Barbie climbs the chocolate yeah, yeah. ladder to victory. Oh, mine's like Ben, look at that. Yeah, it's, it didn't used to be this soft, did it? I don't know, I think it might be the temperature um, oh, in here, but. Essentially, it's like caramel uh, covered in chocolate. <laughs> it's alive! Quacky, mate, don't you? <laughs> Try it, mate, Try it. Right. Mm. Mm. Oh, These are good, it's all good. Mm. It's just a chewy, toffee, chocolate delight. And in fact, they made something called a chomp, didn't they? Um, mm. Which was just like this. When yes. you take the gaps out and just merge it together, you effectively had a chomp. And I think they charged double for these anyway. Um, it was so good, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you found a rubber chicken. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's the chicken. It's the third chicken. <laughs> so in fact, for this one, Stuart and I. What is this place for? I don't know. It's so crazy. Many uniforms and rubber chickens. Yeah. I don't know what they've been using this place for. <laughs> yeah, I wish I'd had this dry clean beforehand. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna taste it, but okay, he likes them. And that, my friends, is comedy. <laughs> so nerds by Wonka. Wonka. I remember that they, they didn't have them over here very much back in the past. It was always exciting if somebody at school had got some nerds from America or yeah, Mars. Yeah. Or it was like they had, had the most ultimate pog. Do you remember yes. pog? Oh, so so good. <laughs> nerds are basically sugar with slight flavouring in the yeah. environment. And neon colours to, to be appealing to uh, teenage children. Yeah. Ready, steady. Diabetes. Oh. I think I can hear my dentist cackling. <laughs> yeah, finally I can buy that yacht. <laughs> they are extremely sugary, sugary shells, brightly coloured, good in their day, but... They mm. also contain Allura Red, Tartrazine and Sunset Yellow, all of which may have adverse effects on activity and attention in children. So I'm just working out with a dinosaur boat. I'm working out with Werther's Originals. Oh, Werther's Originals, so, so good. There was quite a nostalgic advert for that, right? Oh, man, it was, that was such a famous thing for so many years. Yeah. Mm. Old man, child on his knee, when I was young, a <laughs> strange man in a forest gave me Werther's Originals. Now you can have some. <laughs> now, what's the phrase? Um, when I'm a lad? No. Yeah. Now I'm the granddad. Yes. <clears throat> I put hooks in these sweets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you yeah. for ruining my lawn with your biceps. <laughs> You had a flat cap, right? Oh, I think oh, I did. So. Guess what we found in the props cupboard? <laughs> That's right, a plastic bone. Also, <laughs> now I'm the granddad. So yeah. I feel to be really that jacket, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm <laughs> like the militant wing of last of the summer wine. <laughs> but individually wrapped, buttery. Butterscotch candy, I think it's mm. a technical term. Mm. So smooth. Granddad would approve. I don't remember them being this nice. Do you think mm. it's because the advert campaign cut me off? Could have been, yeah. The little granddad. Yeah, with this ultra knitted jumper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, when I were allowed, we did nothing but eat sugar and <laughs> kill people who we didn't like the look of. <laughs> eat these, son. I, I turned out alright, didn't I? <laughs> Smiles. All his teeth missing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> this will really hard. <laughs> Stomach out there. <laughs> Lobster legs are dark <laughs> teeth. I can only see out of one eye. <laughs> And my house is on fire, but other than that... Yeah, you can see why we're this stuck to the good old granddad in just a flat cap, but, um, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Alright then guys, so we're in uh, different attire, just to say thank you for watching uh, this video. A, a, a Malteser at some stage fell into my jacket and shirt and has melted horribly. <laughs> this is lovely. The blowing technique needs uh, more work, but that's yeah. a separate video altogether once again. Oh, Norwich City Football Club here. Yeah, or <laughs> yeah. well, Ric Flair. Woo! Um, anyhow guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Uh, thanks for all the love when we did our Thailand treat, taste treating video before. Um, we're doing a video now on your, your channel, right? That is correct, and it will be grotesque. We won't spoil what it is, but um, let's say it's food that ain't so fresh again. See you next time. <laughs>